Hey everyone, it's the Where I Went here. Haven't made a video in a while. I thought I'd just jump on here and kind of get back in the game now. Crypto's really started moving. I've been in it since the, this whole time. But I just haven't really felt motivated to make videos because I was working on a lot of stuff. But <clears throat> I want to start introducing some bigger concepts so we can all start understanding why Bitcoin's jumping up and what's going to happen as we move forward. And I want to talk about this concept of the one. Now, what is that? What, what, what am I getting at here? Like, when we deal with um, transactions and bartering and just human interactions, we do a lot. With, we have to, like, find some medium of exchange that we can all agree on. So, like, you're not trying to just get really rudimentary about it. You're not trying to trade a cow for a chicken. How many chickens is one cow worth? All that kind of thing. Like, what we need as a society as a whole is something that equals one. We can all agree this is one. Right now, at least for us in America, our perspective is that the one for the whole planet is the US dollar. And for all intents and purposes in a lot of stages, it has been that for a while now, quite a few decades. And if you look at the chart of other fiat currencies over time, it's coming up on that same like time, the time, time span. And it's, it's starting to look like it's on its way out. So what I see now with the whole global financial system is we're in a new quest for the one. And I think this is where cryptocurrencies really start to come into the game. Especially there's just so much money, which is like actually it's debt. There's so much debt in our whole world that it doesn't it just doesn't make sense anymore. If you actually start paying attention, look into it, they've just been printing and printing and printing and printing and printing. It doesn't make any sense. And you can't just be like magic, poof, and disappear it. Like <laughs> and something has to something has to happen. Some exchange, some that's what we're in the process of about where it's about to start happening with cryptos. Because they're gonna have to do like a big game of three card money or Follow the queen, follow the queen, whoop, 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 whoop. and it's going to keep people distracted. It's going to be like ups and downs. The economies are going to crash. The dollars are going to There might be a war. I hope not. Let's try and avoid the war if we can, people. But amidst all this, there will be like a fomentation amongst people and be like, we all agree that this is the thing. I don't know, like Bitcoin will be a store of value, but it can't really be the one because it will be way up here. We need something that's like one. So, like Libra is, and I'm not saying Libra is, Libra I hopefully, and I, I'm pretty sure it'll be gone within a few years, right? But they're trying, they're this, like the first little plank on the bridge. It's going to get across this like big ravine of like, oh shit, to, we have a new one. And this, this is going to be a lot of like smoke and mirrors, whoo, magic. And the, the mass percentage of the population will, will just go along with it. And, Again, there's going to be a little turmoil. But, like I meant, so how a lot of this might kick off. For a while now, America's been a bully. And, like, for, I had this, like, really, like, one day, like, this, oh, my God, like, what if the next big thing was everybody against us, like, America? Like, oh, let's try to avoid that. So what? how this might look, instead of being, like, a war, Imagine a bunch of countries like China, Russia, and now some other people like France, Germany, some of these other main world stage type countries start they're starting to get together and kind of exclude America from the the bully's not allowed and they're starting to do do some talks, right? What if they eventually all come together and agree to no longer use the dollar? What would that do? Okay, so here in the U.S., you'd be like, oh, how does that change things? All these dollars that have been printed and shipped out around the world will no longer be out there, they were around, accepted out there in the world, so they will come back here to America. What happens when you put a whole bunch of more money into a society? Does, that, does things just stay the same price? No, because everybody has more money in that sense. If a bunch of money comes back, it'll kind it, not it'll a rising tide lifts all boats. 
because people will have more money because it's just coming here to the, the U.S., things will continue to go up in value or prices will rise. What's that called? That's called inflation. So when you're hearing these like wild theories about Bitcoin becoming a million dollars, think about it in this scenario. A scenario where like the, the dollar, U.S. dollar is less accepted around the world, but Bitcoin is accepted around the world. In that scenario, a person, especially a rich or affluent person that wants to transact in other countries and internationally, might want to have themselves a few Bitcoin to be able to do so more easily than having to navigate around the dollar. Or And because there's so many more dollars coming back, because there's trillions of dollars in other, out, out around the world. It's the reserve currency. And if that starts getting rejected, they come back. So, cryptos, which are more likely to be accepted around the world, will have more value and they'll be worth more. And just like all the prices for everything around here, the prices for cryptos will likewise rise. Yeah, so that's just one scenario. I'm not saying that's how it's gonna play out. That's just, I like to give out a little, here, think about this, think about that. Just because if you can think about two or three possibilities that are like valid and can happen, you're no longer fixed on this is the only way it's going to turn out. And you start to realize that much of what we do is actually created by our choices and actions. So wrapping that up, the quest for the one. We are on a new quest for the one on a global stage. You know, people on the arc of time, we are kind of headed towards a one world government. I'm not saying that I'm an advocate of that. I'm just saying I can see macro, macro cycles, time cycles. We decentralize, centralize, decentralize, centralize. And if we want to even start really, really talking about going off planet and having some kind of functional thing in outer space, we're going to have to work together as a people. And that's only going to happen if there's some structure connecting us on. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a government, but it has to be a connecting structure that we all agree upon. <laughs> yeah so we might be headed that way we're not, we are headed that way I can just, just and barring like getting hit by a meteorite people and a complete shutdown of the emergency electrical grid which if that happens I don't even care if you have gold or silver like you better have food and we were all gonna be much worse off so cryptos are the future that they're taking us in if you want to not be poor and you want to get ahead of the curve because this is coming. I would recommend getting in now. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Digibyte, Bitcoin Cash. There's a whole bunch. I'm going to start doing more videos again. But we are on a new quest for the one. The world's about to change. The economy is on tatters. Like if you think things are good, you don't lower interest rates in a good economy. And the fact that they're begging for interest rates to be lower tells you how much like what they think of how things are going so don't be surprised to see something big happen here in the next few months and bitcoin's little jump up now to what like almost 13,000 and something is just the beginning all right that's your crypto awareness for the day hope you guys enjoyed